Welcome back to Learn Wire. In this video, I'm going to be doing a scale nut review. I know that you guys have requested for this for a really long time. Scale nut, scale nut actually reached out to me and that's why I'm happy to bring this review to you. I also know that a lot of you have asked for this, so it's gonna be a really, really good video. <clears throat> Another thing is, is that I've had some constructive uh, feedback, which I appreciate from some of you. While you guys have enjoyed my longer videos, me getting to the point and having a little bit more structure in my videos is something that you guys have kind of requested, and you guys are just letting me know that you think that the channel will grow even more and that the videos will be produced even more if I can kind of come up with a little bit more of an outline and try to stick with it. So I usually go completely unscripted with my videos and that's why sometimes they end up being over 30 minutes long. <clears throat> and so I can't promise that ScaleNet is not gonna be 30 minutes because this is a giant piece of software. I am gonna jump in though, but you can see that I've already created an outline that I'm gonna go with. I've already went through the software, so I have an idea of how the software works and we're gonna to try to go and tackle through this. So I appreciate your guys' feedback. I'm always trying to be better at making these videos and reviews for you, but I also want to maintain the natural approach the unscripted style that I have, I think that resonates with a lot of you. So I'm trying to kind of merge the two. I can I can see how if I kind of have a little bit more structure in my videos and then, but still kind of go, it's, it's not gonna be scripted by any means, then maybe I can produce a little bit better videos. So I appreciate you guys, let's jump in. All right, so we're in ScaleNet right now, and this is a very big software, okay? Just to kind of give you an idea, this is kind of like outranking, I'm trying to think of the other tools that come to mind, but this really tackles everything that you would need to create content pretty much any kind of content that you need. There's a lot of SEO features and so forth inside the tool. So there's obviously going to be way too much to cover in one video without this being an hour long video. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna try to just show you, you know, some of the basics, some of the templates. I believe that there's 43 templates or modules. If we come over here to mo templates over here, you can see that there's a bunch of different modules that you would expect to see in tools like Jasper or a copy AI, you know, tools like that. And then you can, they also break it down by the different group. The video content is really cool. They have the video script outline right there, hook and introduction and so forth, right? So if you need to write different pieces of content, then this would be kind of where you find that. Now they do a really good job at giving you tutorials all along the way. You can go right back to the dashboard and anytime you are needing some help or anything like that, they're, they're right there. You can come down here and you can also chat with them right here and get help. You can also come over here to the help center and click on that. It's going to open up the help.scalenet.com and you're going to get all kinds of different articles and different help. And then you can also create a ticket and so forth. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to, going to go and look at some of the templates. Pretty you could get intimidated or overwhelmed by the software when you kind of look at it, but I think that they do a good job at kind of wrapping it up to the, the main, you know, the main areas of the tool right over here, the, the SEO features over here, and then you have the writing features over here. So that's for as much as the tool does, they do a good job at kind of minimizing it to, to try not to overwhelm you. Another thing that I like as well is when we come down here on the dashboard, you'll see that from their standpoint, there's basically six main things that you can do and I believe that's kind of like up here, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, it's kind of related to that because you have the cruise mode, you have the SEO research reports, you have the AI tools, user templates, content grade and topic clusters, right? So, and then when you click on one, they're gonna have a video for each one. You click on that, it's gonna have a video, click on that, it's gonna have a video. So I really, really like how they laid that out and they have some really good tutorials in there. So let's jump in. We're gonna go over to templates right now and I'm gonna show you the email demo. So let's go over to email copywriting and go over to sales email generator, okay? And I'm just gonna kind of come up with some stuff that I already have. So this will save us time, brand name, just uh, des describe your product. Let's say that it's an AI software. I'm gonna paste that in. It writes amazing sales copy for your business. Context to include in the email and let's see right here. All right, cool. We're going to go with, with this right here. And then I'm not really sure what the designation. I'm just going to say United States. I really don't know what, you know, they don't give a tip or whatever, but designation of sender. So anyway, we're going to say generate 
and then it's going to go out there. The software is rather fast. We can see it just produces like this. It reminds me a lot of like Jasper, the way that it kind of creates the content over here, but you always have the left side over here. So, um, it's laid out with a kind of three dimensions, if you will, because you have the results underneath here and then you can go ahead and you can add these to the editor over here and then you have tools over here. So like, for example, if I wanted to come right here, push enter and then go up to the connectors and use AI to say, in addition, furthermore, you could go with all these different sequences right here. So this is really, really cool. So we could go with like, in addition, and then it says our system will help you improve your sales copy. So that's going to really come in handy. These kind of prompts to write more content. I really, really, really like that. You can write more just by clicking the right button. You can instruct it to do custom in instructions like a Jasper and some of the other tools, not a whole lot of tools that allow you to do custom instructions. Well, ScaleNet has that. They seem to have pretty much everything that you could want underneath one hood. That'll probably be a common theme but we're going to go through, you can read, you know, are you tired of trying to find the right copywriter for your business? Or are you also tired of how expensive these copywriters are? Check out the sales content robot and how it can help your business out. What if I told you that we have a revolutionary tool, blah, blah, blah. You just go in, you would change the, the minutes right there. You would change the price, but it writes out a good email. And then it came out with a couple different emails. We can write more by clicking down here. So I think it comes up with a really good sales email. And then we could just keep writing, keep, you know, fooling around with over here, changing the context of the email to finally get something that it's going to write. That's going to be work for you and your business. Right? So that's the email. I think it does a good job. It, it only has a couple. Now, when you go back to AI templates, you can also select all the different from the 43 different templates. They're all right here in a list view, or you can always go back to just templates if you want to look at them from this view. So you like a lot of the tools, you have multiple ways ways of looking at it. All right, so I'm going to go to Q&A content. I think that this is really cool. They have answer a question, engaging questions, answer a question in bullet points. And so I really like that they have different options here. I pretty much tested both of them. The answer a question and Quora answers are pretty much the same thing. They really, it's going to give the same, very close or almost the exact same content. So those two are pretty much the same, but answer, but if you wanted to give a certain style of answer, you can use the bullet point. That's really cool. And then if you want to ask your question, questions to your audience, either polling or or just on social media uh, questions are really good to engage your audience, then this would be a good one. But we're gonna go into Quora answers, show you this demo over here. So we can come over here and you can go over to questions. You can just see all this, these different things right here. And what you would do is if you wanna answer this, you would just say copy. And then we would come back over here into scale nut. We would put that question in here, right here. It gives you what kind of an example of what you should do. And then we're gonna say generate. Again, it produces it very quickly. And you can see there are a lot of factors that affect your affiliate marketing success, but one of the most common reasons you might not be making sales is because you're not targeting the right customers. So it just goes and gets you the, these really nice lengthy questions right here. I'm not really sure how much text that is. It's probably at one to 200 words right there. So a nice lengthy answer right there. And you could add this to the editor and then you can come over here and if you wanted to, to extend this, so we, yeah, one to 200 words, uh, I was right on point, 215 words, actually a question. That's really cool. Then we're going to come through, push enter, and then we can come over here. I love these connectors. We can also say, however, and then we could come back over here and go with another connector and then just say all in all. Affiliate marketing is a great way to, so I love how that just prompts it to do a summary. So now we have almost 300 words and you could just keep going and going, right? So I think that this feature right alone, you could literally build a business and drive traffic from Quora into your business, answer these really, really well, and just have a link back to your site. Just drive traffic to your website or your YouTube channel. Maybe don't, I wouldn't recommend putting affiliate links in Quora. They're really cracking down on things like that. So you want to just offer value and maybe drive traffic to a website, kind of more general traffic. If you try to put an affiliate link in here, it's I've seen they just, they kind of ghost your answers or they ghost your links. So that's just kind of a, a Quora tip for you guys. But I haven't touched Quora in a really long time on a side note, and you can come over here to, what is it, content and stats. And I'm still getting 350 views per month, and I haven't done anything since last August. I haven't answered a question since last August. 
and you can see I'm still getting upvotes and views and, and things like that. So yeah, this is a good a good uh, way that you can drive traffic back to your business for free just by answering questions. You can use a tool like ScaleNut. I think it does a really good job with the answers right here. So, so far I'm, I'm very impressed with the tool and I know that a lot of you, like I said, asked me months ago, hey, can you do ScaleNet? But I didn't have access to it, to the tool, but but it just kind of worked out that I know you guys wanted this review and then ScaleNet actually reached out to me to you know ask me if I would do a review. They're not paying for that. This is not a promoted video or, any, or it's not a sponsored video by them by any means, but just to kind of give you guys a little bit of that backstory. All right, so let's keep moving on. A social media post, let's go check that out. So I'm gonna go back over here and now I'll show you from the list view We'll go in here and then there's a social media post right here. I already have some demo copy created. So I've got my brand. I'm gonna say, then we have a description, context of the post and then push generate right here. And you can see while you're in the list area, you actually have what's on your canvas over here. So I think that's really cool. So then here's a result right here. I help te people, uh, I help teach people how to make money online in this video. I'm going to show you step-by-step step what you need in order to make it work. This is a really easy way that anyone can start. And then it came up with, it actually did good with putting a hashtag teach me when your methods right here. Then we can generate more results right here. And then this time it generated a couple. <laughs> Quora is a nerdy site made for dorky nerds like me that want to make money online and show their appreciation of our fellow geek and then it gives an uh, emoji right here and it, that's funny right i mean that's they it came up with something really kind of clever right there and so you could use these as your posts and then it came up with another one right here so these are nice social media posts you could use this for uh, facebook instagram twitter all kinds of things so there you go with that one i'm going to show you an e-commerce demo now so i'm going to go back over to templates and then we're gonna go right here. E, they have product descriptions, e-commerce product description right here. And I came up with a really funny one be, earlier testing this out. I made this up because it's really ridiculous and I just think it's funny. So this is what we're gonna go with, the extremely long running shoe. So the, you know, like the longer the shoe, the more faster you can run, just completely makes no sense at all. But then it comes out. Longbow is the longest running shoe that has ever been created. The long shoe helps you run faster, especially if you are looking for a shoe that is going to last you a long time. Extremely long running shoe and then help you run faster. This is an amazing product, attraction and comfort. We know there was one in here where it literally said the longer the shoe, the faster you run. The long shoes help you run faster. I had it somewhere earlier the shoe has is made with new type of technology that no one no other shoes are this technology helps you run faster our shoes are designed to provide comfort durability and performance it is long lasting and never been worn out so you could take a little bit bits and pieces of this and you could copy them over to the editor right and start removing and then kind of come up with a really nice description. If you're selling these description services, this would be a good way for you to be able to go and kind of <clears throat> pick and choose, to remove what is not good, keep what is good. And then you can come over here. I really like how you can, you know, use the software to, you know, add more and just instruct it. And then it will just continue to write for you. So that is the e-commerce product description. All right, so let's go do a cruise control demo. Like I said, we're not gonna be able to do everything because the software is just really, really big, but I wanna show, I just wanna show you a little bit of everything. Right now we're gonna go over to, how do I get to cruise control? I'm gonna go to the copywriter. I don't see how I can get to cruise control from here, from templates. AI docs, create a new doc, so that might be, and that might be like an existing content, something like that, but I do know that if we go to the dashboard, <clears throat> we can go, over here to cruise mode and get started. So, okay, so it's right there on the dashboard right in front of us. It's a create blog in five minutes. And then you have a content briefs if you're gonna hire your writers and then plan content. I am gonna show you the topic clusters as well. So here we go. We're gonna go into cruise mode and I'm gonna go get a keyword like I like to. I think I used this in my last video and I don't think that the content did too well. So we're gonna choose kind of a more difficult specific specific keyword in the make money online niche and see what it can do for us. So we're gonna put that keyword in right here and then we can go and select the United States and push start. 
and then tell us the topic you want us to write about. I'm just going to put that in right here. You can add additional keywords. Um, starting a craft business. Starting a craft. I'm going to go ahead and put that in right there. And we're just going to go and the software is already going out. It can take one to two minutes for it to go out and find all the different it's going to go out and find all the co the content all the top ranking content so it can build you know our all the rest of our structure which is the title the outline writing points and first draft so we'll be back in just a sec okay so while it's doing that we're going to go ahead and look at the pricing real fast so pricing for scale nut we have we're going to go and just look at the monthly plans 29 dollars a month a hundred thousand ai words i think that's really generous when you compare this to the competition to jasper even copy ai you're getting the the, the pricing is even better than anything that i've seen 40 plus AI tools there, right? Right there and so forth, right? So 24 seven email chat support, five SEO reports per month, unlimited AI, 30 SEO reports. So this is really gonna be where you're gonna start shining. This is still better, way, way better pricing. The fact that you're getting unlimited AI, you're getting just, you get everything. So this is gonna be the most, po obviously the most popular plan right here. When you need more users and you have teams, that's when the pro and further is going to, to matter. But I think that the pricing is speaks for itself. It's some of the best pricing for what you get. And then you can actually go down to $32 a month. You save 60% on an annual plan. If you guys want to go try the tool out for free or sign up for a paid plan, I do have a link below. It is my affiliate link and you help support LearnWire by, by purchasing through that link. If this software is something that you want to go and test out or try for your business. So overall, in comparison with tools with this kind of capacity and this quality, I do believe that the pricing is some of the best or possibly the best pricing that I've seen on the market. All right, so we're gonna go back and here we go. We're back in cruise mode. Tell us right the topic. Okay, so I'm gonna say next. And now we have AI generated titles. We have top ranked titles. So these are gonna be actually the titles that are currently ranking, right, in the top 12. I wouldn't recommend copying one of those, but one of the coolest things that you can do is you can go, go with one of the ones that a, the AI generated, or you can just go with the top ranked article right here, how to start a craft business with no money, a made urban. I'm gonna rephrase this and just see what it comes up with. And I so I really wanna go with this one, but I want to, maybe how to start a craft business in 2022. Let's just go with this one. I like this first one right here. We're gonna go with that and we're gonna say next. And you can notice that you're going to get the word count suggestion is 3000 to 3200. So you're gonna need a big piece of content here. And then the content grade is a B. So the import content in editor and include as many key terms as possible to improve grade further. So it does a full SEO score and so forth. So here's the outline, the outline that you're gonna build. Like other tools as well that we've seen, you have your FAQs over here you can add, you have your top ranked outlines right here. And then you have all these ones that it, I believe it just came up with for us automatically. Generate H2 ideas. I like to, I wanna click that and it's going to just go and create them for us. Now I don't know if we need to actually, yeah, we do need to click on these. So I'm gonna go and just click and build, let's build a nice article. Then we have some FAQs. Let's just go with what they suggest over here for us. Okay, and then you can also generate FAQs, more FAQs right there or right here and so forth. Okay, so they give you a lot of different options. You could spend as much time as you want in this area because this is really going to drive the rest of your content and the rest of the results. So this is probably where you wanna spend the most time is generating your outline, crafting a good outline, okay? But they provide all the data that you need. We're gonna go push next. It's gonna come up with all the writing points. This is where this is really cool, guys, because I've been talking a lot about Copy AI recently. That is my tool of choice right now. And one of the th reasons why I love the tool is that, well, one, I'm getting unlimited content from them, but two, I love how they have a very fast way to create a blog post and they also operate with talking points. So before pushing the next button, I already know what they're going to talk about. I can move these around if I want, but I, I can regenerate talking points right here. I can add more writing points. 
but they already are telling you what to expect in this article. So if you spend another five minutes going through here, and this is where, where you're gonna really be able to control the AI and what it's going to write for you. So this is really the way that I think AI, the, the good AI writing tools, and that's why my copy AI content is ranking in, on the first page. It's ranking within days after publishing it. And I'm I'm going to estimate, and I'm going to be doing some tests, guys, and I'll and I'll do some follow-ups. Obviously, you guys know I do that, especially with tools that I really like during the review process. I have a feeling that ScaleNet content is going to rank just simply because of how they understand SEO and the way that they're putting together these talking points like this means that it's gonna be so well structured and so forth. So I really like the way that you can kind of see the way the AI brain is working over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and push next. I really like this. We're gonna go through here and now we're gonna to go to first draft, I believe. It's gonna go and start generating our first draft. Now this is insane, guys. This, I'm actually, my mind is blown with what this content is doing for us. It seems like it's right on point. I'm, I'm kind of reading as it creates the content. It's staying on point. This is just insane. You can see it live right in front of you. It's very fast. And look at this, 1800 words right here. It just keeps moving up. We're at the 2000, 2100 words right here. We already have a C score right here, okay? So you can do all kinds of things. You can come over here, you can regenerate. So read through this. And if it doesn't make sense or it's not quite answering the question, just go and push the refresh and it'll go and rewrite it again for you, okay? But even came up with a conclusion for us. So we've got a 2200 word piece of content right here in a matter of like, what? 45 seconds we can go and preview or we can well i guess let's just push the preview button so this is what the preview looks like wow that, that's amazing we can export this to the edit. we can download the draft in word or pdf or whatever we want to do so i'm going to go ahead and click that download show you guys what that looks like real quick and as you can tell the video this software is just way too big i'm trying to be as thorough thorough as i can and stay on point guys but this is still going to end up being a long video but i know most of you are okay with long videos but i am just trying to stay more on point all right so this is what it looks like when we come in and look at this from uh, Microsoft Word standpoint just looks really, really good. Okay, you guys can pause the video, read what it's coming up with. I'm not gonna do that because that's just gonna take way too long, but I think it does, or even right here, it did like a, it did points right here, or number one, two, three, four, five, and then it did it again down here, so really cool stuff. Okay, then you can export this to the editor, and this is really cool because it opens up all the different SEO tools. We can come over here. We want a longer introduction. We can go and use the instruct button, write more button, all the connectors we have. I showed you a lot of different things. SERP ideas. What is that? We can get more SERP ideas if we want to. Really cool stuff. Okay. So then they have a full editor over here. I always like to see where they're at with, oh, wow. They even have stock images in here. I don't know where they're getting the stock images. We just say craft. And here's some arts and crafts images. And you can see there's 342 uh, that we can choose. So you can get even more specific, but so this is already, this is just, they're, they're really doing a great job with, with the tool. A lot of them, they just al allow you to upload a, to an image, which no one's really going to have links to images for their own images. Most of us are using some stock images to get our content off the, you know, off the ground. So I love how they've integrated that. You can go back into cruise mode right here as well. And you can add links, full blown editor inside of here. But then we can come back over here and we can see that we have seven images. It's recommending seven images right here. And then it's recommending the content we need. We have a little bit more, about 700 words more that we need, 17 headings. And I'm trying to see where we're at with, um, that's just the recommendations. And then here's, you can get into the AI templates right there. That's cool. And then it does use NLP terms right here. So if you wanted to come in here and it's not using craft business, we need a little bit more. So you could actually come in here and push return. And then you would push this robot button and it's actually gonna write something that includes craft business. And there it is, craft business. And this should go up to nine here in a minute because we just put in craft business in here. Now I'm not sure, so craft business, looks like there's some facts and stuff that you can get right there. But since this is not, since this was capitalized, I'm not sure if that's why it's not changing, but this right here should change to nine. 
Oh, okay. So that part right there is just saying what it's recommending. But then this right here is where it's actually updating over here. Honestly, I'm not sure what the eight out of 10 means. Maybe that just means <clears throat> really not sure what that means actually guys, but you also want to read through all these because it's not finishing all of the paragraphs, right? So we come down over here and you can see like right here, it didn't finish this right here. So you would just go and write. So you'd want to go through and make sure obviously that it's ending on a good note and it's ending its sentence each time it does. It looks like about 95% of the time, but you could, it could miss one where it doesn't have punctuation. It didn't finish. So it only happened one time. So obviously you're going to read through here. You have, these are NLP terms. So it's actually using NLP terms. You can highlight usage over here. So look at all the NLP terms that are going on in this content. It, that's it. Talk about SEO optimized content. And then you can look at competition right here and questions. So this tool packs a punch in. It is literally an SEO content generation tool on steroids. So we're at middle school right here. That's really good. We're at a C right here. I wanted to do more. I wanted to take this and I know a lot of you, Hey, take that and see how it does in neuron writer, but I just can't do that. The video is getting way too long guys. I do want to take this, copy this, go to Copyscape, and see what's going on with Copyscape with this giant 2,500 word article. So let's go see what it looks like with Copyscape over here. It's going to use 26 cents. Oh, wow. Am I okay? So no results found guys, no results, 2,400 words checked, no results. Like I said, I wanted to go and check this. Okay. So I'm back and I did end up doing this just to show you real quick. I went ahead and added a meta description and title. I literally just used the same title right there, but then went over to content and I pasted the content in here to neuron writer and we're getting a 58 score and it's almost enough to take the top spot. That's insane. We come through here and we have a couple that we've overused. That's pretty normal right here for craft business. So those would be okay. And then you would see all the different terms that we've used in here. We can go and look at the box over here and see how well we're doing. And I like to look at this keyword stuffing risk is at 0% right there. And then oh, let's see what else. Oh, and then there was a, there is a discrepancy. What neuron writers saying, we only need 2,400 words and scale is saying we need 3000 words. So either way, the content, this is what it looks like. It's kind of, I didn't touch this, didn't add anything to it. I didn't optimize it in any way in neuron writer. And it's already saying it's enough almost to take spot number one with this. And we would have a chance to probably take what 58 we would have a chance to take the second spot just based on content. Then you could come over here and actually see what we have more content than them and what their, how many backlinks they have. So can we, could we outrank nerd wallet? Probably not, but good to know the content where it's at. So I was going to go over optimizing content inside of scale net. I'm just going to have to save that for another video. The video is just way too long. We would just go back over here and we would go into the SEO hub and, but you would basically be pasting your content or a link. It's going to pull up a doc like this similar, and it is going to basically be doing all this right here and telling you how to optimize your content. So that really is how you're going to use the content optimizer in there, which is cool. And then topic clusters, we can spend just one quick minute on topic clusters. So here we go. We're going to go with, I just want to do one on make, wait, no, I want to do one on, I want to do one on pickleball. So pickleball, create topic cluster, see what it comes up with for us. So now it's going out there and it's going to fetching related keywords. So it's going to go out and actually tell you what pieces of content you need to create for your websites that are all within the same kind of topic cluster. So this is really, really cool, really advanced. I don't think any other AI tool actually has this feature. This is normally a feature you have to pay extra money for and that is a separate tool just for this kind of stuff, topic clustering. So I know topic clustering is a thing in writer's end, but that's pretty much the only other tool that I see that really is offering this right now. So we're going to op uh, open this cluster report real quick guys. And then this is what it looks like. So it does something similar to what writer's end does 67 clusters for the main topic. We have pickleball, we have playing pickleball. And so these, the way that this kind of works is you would actually create like a category or a silo for each one of these. Some of them aren't going to make any sense, right? But these are de basically different silos. And then you could actually go and create this SEO doc right here. So, um, 
it's looking like this right here would actually be okay so this would be a piece of content right here so let's coming up with 67 pieces of content on the topic pickleball for us you would just go and create the seo doc and let's just go right this create seo doc based on that cluster Okay, so we're back in here and now we're going to that took about a minute or a minute and a half it does take a while to compile all the information open SEO doc right here. Let's see what it come up came up with for us. Okay, so here's the SEO doc competition overview. It's going to give us a ton of information word counts that we need to rank in the top 10 1500 great content grade is a C so we can probably we've learned that we can probably do way better than that based on the way that Skillnet is going to optimize our content, do a lot of NLP terms inside of it and structure it. But you get these different views from the top 30 ranking articles, the best content grades, and then also you can look at it from a list view right here as well. So this is gonna be a very image-based piece of content. There is someone ranking in the top five that only has four, and then this one right here has zero images. But it's gen it generally, when you look at this, it, I mean, look at this post, 130 images. So you're going to probably want some images going on in this content. And that's going to be one of the uh, image based type content. All right. Then you have outlines. You can build a full outline question, citations, key terms. This is just insane. The amount of information that you can get inside of this tool. I think that there's going to be a, like a learning curve as well um, in order to efficiently use this. But if you just want to use it surface level and do the cruise mode and create a blog post in five to 10 minutes, then it's going to be your best friend. So overall, we went through the pricing. You saw the pricing. Go ahead and click the link below if you want to go and sign up. You can also try the tool out for free. So the pros of this software, let's go back over here, guys. Just to recap this video for you guys, we're going to be looking at the pros right now. There's too much, too many to list. I like that they have taken a giant tool that pretty much does everything that you can think of under the sun to create content. It's one of the largest tool set tool sets that I've seen in AI content writing tools, but they did a good job at also kind of minimizing it to make it easy for you to navigate. And you can kind of use it to its to its depths if you want and get really intricate, or you can just say service level, use the templates and create content quickly uh, and so forth, right? So I think they do a good job at kind of being in the middle and not making the navigation too confusing or the learning curve too much. There's just too much good things to say. I was very impressed with the NLP terms that they automatically can put in there for you. The structure of the content, there's a ways to just push a button and literally have a massive amount of content, which looked like pretty high quality content. It also passed Copyscape, all that kind of stuff. So I can see that this being one of my new go-to tools, I can also, I was more impressed the more that I used the tool. Admittedly, when I first logged in, I was like, oh my goodness, this, this is gonna be confusing. <clears throat> There's a lot going on. But then after actually spending time in the tool, learning it, it's not as overwhelming as it seems and it is extremely powerful. So I like the tool. I give it a two thumbs up. I do, I would recommend this tool. I will do some further testing and I'll try to rank some articles with this content. Of course, I'll do some update videos for you as well. There's the tool so big that I'll probably have to make some more videos for you guys. Leave a comment below if you guys have some, some specifics that you guys want me to do with ScaleNet. And I'd be happy to do that for you guys. Cons, it is a massive tool and, and it can be a little overwhelming for some. And it can be maybe just a little intimidating when you log in. And there's going to be a learning curve with this in comparison with a tool like Brainwork where you literally just push a couple buttons and it, and it has an article for you. But I do think, and then also like even Copy AI, it's gonna, Copy AI creating an article in there is very straightforward, but there's a lot more SEO stuff going on with ScaleNet. It's, and it is more powerful from that perspective. So not a whole lot of cons guys, just that it uh, might have a learning curve to it. Oh, oh another pro is also the pricing. This is uh, one of the possible Probably the best pricing for this kind of tool that I've seen on the market and that's where they're positioning themselves they want to kind of outdo everyone you know maybe they're not big enough to ask for that those certain price points but this is the perfect time to go and get grandfathered into the pricing of what they have because I think that this tool is going to
going to go a long way. So final thoughts. Absolutely. I think that this is a great tool. I'll be exploring it more. I'll be sharing more tests and case studies with you. I'll be going out and ranking some content with it. I really like this tool. You'll probably see more videos from me on ScaleNet. So it gives a big two thumbs up. Go click the link below. Go sign up. Appreciate you guys. See you in the next video.